If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com. You're going to click on FIFA 21 right here. Choose your platform you're buying coins on. Choose the amount of coins you'd like to purchase. Click buy now and then put in the discount code CHIEF for 6% off your order. Now let's go ahead and let's get right into this video. What's up guys, it's Vive Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we've got for you some insane investments that are going to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 21. Now, if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you guys do hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21. So it would mean a lot if you did subscribe and then make sure to check out all the other links in the description like Twitch for my daily live streams, Discord for more trading advice and investments, and then all sorts of things down there like Twitter, Instagram, all that. And with that said, let's go ahead and let's jump right into these investments. So guys, to start off, today is Friday. I'm recording this a little bit before the content drop. And as you know, they release promos on Friday, and we're going to have Path to Glory Festival of Foot team Two. And what that means is we're also going to have these upgrade packs expire here. As you can see, they expire in one hour and 17 minutes. But what they do is these upgrade packs, they always go away on Friday with the new promo and then they come back on Sunday. So this is perfect for investors because every Friday and Saturday during lightning rounds, we can invest and then sell on Sunday when these new upgrade packs come out. So let's talk about what to invest in, why we invest in it and what prices and stuff. So the thing that I always like to invest in are these 81 plus player picks. So what these require right now is a full gold team with seven rares in it. So what this does it, it, is it always makes gold rares go up in price and a lot of times gold commons as well. So if we head over to the market here and just kind of show you how much gold rares are going for right now. Right now, they're a little bit down in price, but typically Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, these guys sit up at around 1,400, 1,500 coins. Right now, you can see they're selling for 1,100 a piece. If we check commons, I think these have fully tanked down to like minimum. Not exactly minimum, but they're going like 550, 600 a piece. So what we do is we like to invest in these cards. So what I tell people is my number one investment typically is Friday and Saturday during lightning rounds, which means when they start releasing like 100Ks, 125Ks, even 50Ks into the store for people to open for the new promo, that's when you're going to invest in all these gold rare cards. And I typically tell people what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go just max bid price 800 and just try to win as many cards on bid as you can for 800 or less. Obviously right now it does not work because the player picks are still out. So there's still demand for these cards, but I kind of want to show you what I'm looking at and why I really like these investments. So if we come over here to Footbin, I picked a random rare gold card. As you can see, Diop here, just 78 rated, random CDM, 41 pace in the Love Liga. And I want to show you his price graph. So right here, Right here, we're looking at this time last week, Thursday and Friday, when there were no upgrade packs to make this, uh, to make there really any demand for these gold rares. And as you can see, Friday, Saturday, there's an absolute tank in his price down to minimum price, basically because there's all this supply from new lightning rounds, tons of packs being opened, a lot of supply of this card on the market. He went down to his minimum price of 700 coins. And then Sunday, when they release upgrade packs, the guy went up to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. He's gone up. His maximum price hit about 1,400 coins. So you could have invested for 700, sold for 1,400, and basic, effectively just doubled your coins like that. And basically... What I'm trying to get at here is this typically happens with every single promo every single week. They bring the new team out on Friday. Friday and Saturday, they release all these packs into the store, which people open. There's tons of supply of these gold rares and really nothing to do with them. So their prices drop big time. And then 
Upgrade packs come out on Sunday and all these gold rares shoot up in price. So it's the perfect cycle to invest in and make really easy coins on. So for these gold rares, like I mentioned, I typically try to get them for 800 coins or less and literally just try to get as many as I possibly can. That is typically my plan. I'm probably going to put all my coins into it today and tomorrow just to try and double my coins. Now, there is a bit of a risk with this, I must mention. Basically, sometimes EA release different upgrade packs and just to kind of screw over investors. So maybe next time they release some kind of player pick that's just like, it requires seven golds and like two rares. And basically rares won't go up all that much and commons will have a little bit of a rise, but won't move a whole lot. But let's talk about common cards now. There's a couple different reasons to invest in common cards. The first one would be basically for these upgrade packs, like I mentioned. A lot of times these will see a little bit of a rise dependent on what upgrade packs come out. But if we take a look, so it looks like commons right now are going for 600 a piece. Now, these are kind of a safe investment on Fridays and Saturdays because you can get commons for 400 coins a piece very comfortably on Friday and Saturday. So when you're getting these for minimum price, there really isn't a risk because at some point they'll go up. It may just be somewhat of a long hold. And especially with upgrade packs, you're probably going to see a rise with these, just not as much. So if you just want the safest investment possible, anything you can pick up for minimum price, gold commons, gold rares, anything like that are kind of the play. So I would definitely check that out. It's relatively easy to get them on Friday and Saturday because there's just no demand. And the other thing with these common cards is with the amount of daily SBCs that are being released right now, there's potentially going to be one that is going to make a lot of your common cards go up, especially if you're picking up guys from major nations like Spain, France, England, Germany, anything like that. You're going to see some sort of SPC that may require like a 78 rated squad with three French players and all your French commons are going to go up in price. So just to kind of give you an example of what I'm looking at here, um, I've, I've gone and picked just a 75 rated Pablo Mari card here. He's a Spanish center back from Arsenal. As you can see, he's about 850 coins on the market. But just to go look at his price range, the reason I like cards like this is because as you can see, you really want to find these cards that have this up and down pattern basically throughout the year. Because it, mean it means there's cards that are high in demand for SBCs, objectives, anything like that. And whenever new content comes out, you look to pick them up. So looking last week at like Monday here after squad battles rewards, going for about 500 coins and then just goes up throughout the week and then all the way back down here. So if you were to invest in commons, I would recommend doing it Sunday night, Monday morning during squad battles rewards because throughout the week, they'll just continue to rise, especially if they're needed for upgrade packs and things like that. So I really like this gold common investment, especially if you're able to get these guys for like minimum price or so. Same thing with the rare golds. As I tell people, if you can get stuff for minimum price, that is the move. Definitely do that. Anything you can get for minimum price, risk-free investment. Now, last investment we're going to be talking about is going to be a little bit higher rated things, so particularly 82 rated cards. So this is something I like to do a lot and something I mentioned in the Discord a lot. If we're looking at Bender here, Lars Bender, he is going probably around, wow, he's going around 2,000 coins as you can see. So... Typically what I tell people is Friday and Saturday, again, with lightning rounds and stuff and a lot of packs being opened, there's tons of supply of these like 82 rated cards and not a ton of demand for them at that moment. So what I tell people is literally any 82 rated card that you can pick up for less than a thousand coins, you should be picking up. That is, that is always my rule of thumb. If you can get an 82 rated card that is... Specifically, not a goalkeeper. I try to stay away from goalkeepers, but mostly any two, any 82 rated card under a thousand coins is a great deal. And just to kind of show you a quick example, that Bender we saw is 2,000 coins. In my Discord, I recommended that people pick him up because last week he was so cheap. He was so cheap. As you can see, down at 1,100 here, 
down at 1200 here and you can 100% pick him up for like 900 coins on bid and you can see throughout the week he just rose and rose and rose in price and now he's at 2000 coins and with the new supply today and tomorrow we should see a drop in his price probably down to around 13 1400 and hopefully during squad battles rewards and things like that we're going to continue to just get a lot of supply and hopefully be able to pick him up for a thousand coins or less and just another quick card that I like is going to be this Ginter card here. I typically like to pick this guy up as well. A German center back in the Bundesliga, you just can't really go wrong with. I remember I picked him up early in the week um, for about 1,300 coins a piece, sold for about 2,000. Not a terribly hard trade to make, but just some easy investments for you guys here that can help you make a ton of coins. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.